challenge, guys. It's, it's happening. I'm keeping it up, I'm keeping the momentum. We can do this. Yo, yo, what's up, guys? New challenge for you from the guy who brought you 24 hours of Uber Eats straight. So it's just gone 6 a.m. So I mean, sunrise is almost here. From the guy who brought you 25 hours of Uber Eats on Halloween straight. I am seriously wondering if security will stop me. Now I'm gonna provide to you, can we make 1,000 pounds in a week, seven days, Monday to Sunday, doing bicycle deliveries? I'll be on Uber Eats, I'll be on Stuart. We've got no shifts books, we've got zero pounds guaranteed. And we're starting a bit later than I wanted to because I just couldn't sleep last night because I was just so, so excited about spending a whole week, probably doing 15 hours a day. I'm not sure about the tactics. I'm gonna have to average 143 pounds a day which sounds like quite a lot. I'm not sure if I'm gonna try and hit that target each day and then stop for the day, or if I'm gonna maybe do a little bit less during the weekdays because the weekend will probably be busier. Should be interesting. I'm gonna keep you guys updated along the way and uh, good luck to me, I guess. <laughs> probably gonna need it. Ooh, late stage capitalism. Oh, an Uber delivery, but I can't do that because I've got a Stuart delivery, £7.50 for the drop, so we're going to make £1,000 easy. Alright, I've got delivery. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Cheers, thanks man. You're welcome. So yeah, that was a really long drop. It was about 3.2 miles, which is... We're waiting to get a job on one of them. We sign off on the other. Whoever gives me the jobs first, they're gonna get my, uh, my slave labor. <laughs> no, it's not that bad, guys. It's not that bad, come on. We've got a More soup eight. delivery to do here. We're just praying. More eight. More nine. It looks dry. More ten. So we've got a nice dry soup. Four this was a double delivery as well, so this is the second of two Four and 17. I couldn't be more happy. Uh, and we're here. Eventually. Doors opening. After the successful soup delivery, I jumped onto the greenway, which is a foot and cycle path constructed on top of a sewer that was built in the 1800s. The cycle track actually has the alternative name of Sewer Bank. It's an awesome way to avoid the traffic and get around quicker in East London. And luckily it doesn't smell that bad. Feeling good about this. I feel like we might, I feel like we might actually get a thousand pounds this week. <laughs> Don't ask me how, but you know, it's just the universe, everything, it's all gonna come together. Don't worry, it's gonna happen. Because I had started the day quite late and it was December, the sun was already setting. No worries, I got some cool views of the Emirates Airline, which is a cable car which goes across the River Thames. The temperature seemingly dropped quick and I found myself scrambling for my gloves and neck buff. It is zero degrees right now, or oh, one degree, zero degrees Celsius. Doesn't matter, we're out here in shorts. <laughs> my dude. 
shorts, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for the cool weather to go. <laughs> Okay guys, so it's gone 10 p.m. I think. I broke my my phone cable, so I have to try and locate another one of those before tomorrow as soon as possible. It's annoying, my phone was on silent by mistake, so I missed the Stuart delivery. And now it's kind of died off, so I'm just kind of heading back towards home. Just as I say that, I get an Uber come in. Let's hope it's not McDonald's. I just don't really like doing McDonald's. Oh, it's a double. Oh, it's probably not McDonald's then. If it's a McDonald's, I probably won't do a double. Oh my god, come on. One pair of pants later. Did I get it? What the hell? <laughs> you guys saw that, right? It randomly appeared. It's not a double, it's just one order. I want to try and go until midnight. It depends on how long this battery lasts. Oh, it's got lentil soup. Great. I've had two soups today. They've gone all right, but I don't know. Third time lucky, third time unlucky. We're at the pizza place, and uh, we're doing a pizza. But today's going well, apart from the uh, the phone cable breaking. But yeah, whatever. Let's get another one. It's part of the expenses of this job. It's so bad. It's so bad. Yeah. Sorry, man. Uh, Okay, I think uh, day one, that's a wrap. I just dropped, uh, I think it's gonna be my last delivery at McDonald's in uh, just north of Smithfield's market. And I think we're gonna go offline because I broke my charging cable for my phone and I uh, haven't been able to buy a new one out here at this time of night. So we're down to seven, 16% and I want enough to get home and have some charge in the morning. So we're gonna call it a night, get a new cable tomorrow morning and uh, I guess wake up earlier so we can do more deliveries. Day two. So I really am doing this, huh? It started quite relaxed. I was working in and around my local area. Little traffic and easy chill streets to navigate. Drafting buses to save my energy, and the low winter sun giving my soul some much needed inspiration to continue in my arduous quest. Uh oh! We just dropped off a pizza. It seemed to go smoothly. Bit of a trippy lift, isn't it? Whoa. It's gonna be really demoralizing if today's quiet, because then it's like, have I got enough momentum for the rest of the week? We're gonna have to go till midnight again tonight, so. We'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. You can only try our best.
we got a unique delivery right now. We are delivering literally just some wooden crates. Ta da! It's rock and roll, guys. Time is of the essence. We've got a thousand pounds to make. Okay, so I'm about to drop off those crates. <laughs> Look at this delivery I just got on, uh, on Uber. Two vegetarian pizzas, a special barbecue pizza, seafood pizza, hot pizza, two four season pizzas, one bacon lovers pizza. I think I'm gonna cancel this one. Okay, so we're banging at home. Uh, we just did an Uber. Let's hope it picks up. Cause it feels quiet. I mean, it, might, it hasn't been that bad, but it just feels quiet. And just it feeling quiet makes me feel nervous. And it makes me just, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It did feel quiet, but maybe I was expecting too much from a standard Tuesday. Regardless, I stayed online and did every job that was thrown at me. Well, unless it had a thousand pizzas. After being cut off by some jerk, I received a chain of deliveries that sent me on a wacky loop up into North London. Places I never normally go. This can usually be fun, but I was actually quite zoned out, tired and hungry. I didn't take a break and pushed on. It was too early in the week to start slacking already. I was about to just complain about how quiet it's got, but I just got an Uber in. Having some mince pies from a co-op, vegan mince pies. Having a little rest here on a on a Boris bike, as they call them. Guess we better go do this other Uber. i probably do another w one or two more deliveries, try and head towards home. Pretty solid day today. Had a few little mishaps. I had a, I don't know, I was, I was feeling pretty, pretty tripped out. Rode 1.8 miles to a delivery. When I got there, I realized, uh, well, I made a mistake and um, I'll let you guys guess what the mistake was, but I think Uber might still have paid me. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, they'll probably take some back. We're gonna finish this mince pie, do this delivery, and that's day two done. We're doing it, guys, we're doing it. It's a McDonald's delivery, and there's no drinks. It's perfect. Let's rock and frickin' roll. What's up? It's gone midnight. And I've got a double drop after this one. I'm really close to home, so I'm hoping it's, well, actually I'm not hoping because I'm about to hit 100 miles if I don't go straight home, so, big day. Well done, man. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, good in, yeah. Last delivery of the night, I reckon, for alcoholic beverages for someone. And we're so close to home, it's, it's perfect. That was pretty hectic. After, that, um, after me sitting on the Boris bike, having a mince pie, I actually did five more deliveries on the way home. I just kept going, I just kept getting them, so I kept doing them. I was thinking, why would I... This is the whole weird thing about this, because it's a whole week long challenge. If I do it now, I might as well do it now, because if I don't do it now, it means I need to do more tomorrow. And I'll just sleep later and wake up later. It was, it's funny. In case you guys are wondering why I'm eating to fuel this, Cooked up a bunch of pasta, peas, beans, spinach, some herb spices, you know. Out on the road, I don't really eat or drink that much while I'm riding. It's probably a bad thing because I was tripping out a little bit today. Usually I eat junk food when I'm actually riding because, you know. And I've been having porridge for breakfast, so oat, oatmeal, oats. So I eat this. Get to sleep because we got work tomorrow. We got to go, 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 go. Oh, we did a hundred miles. Did I say that? I did. I did an extra like half a mile, little lap 
to go home just to get 100 miles because I'm just that kind of guy. Well, here's the reheated finished masterpiece. I can't even speak straight. I'm gonna eat this and that's day two done. <laughs> Right guys, day three, and it's lovely sunny day. A bit chilly though, and I uh, just did second delivery. Third one just came in. Get a lift selfie. Oh boys, yeah. Have we have we really been doing career work? We didn't get a lift selfie. I don't know, guys. What do you think? <sighs> just out of delivery to the top floor. Nice view of Victoria Park, looking westward. Let's see if there's another view on the other side. Uh oh. Oh. So uh, I just did a delivery to an Australian, an Australian guy <laughs> and he, uh, he took a photo of my hat to show his friends. Pretty funny, so the hat work and it's magic. After a short time in Canary Wharf and a lull in deliveries, I decided to get snacking on, yup, a box of mince pies. You can't blame me, I was just getting in the festive spirit. I was now racing bike commuters, Uber drivers, and getting sweet drafts from buses. Hey, uh, just eat. Cheers. Alright, we just uh, dropped off the delivery to this fancy place, someone who's working late. It's weird, today's been like slow then fast then slow. And then, you know what, I actually prefer these like working past 10pm. There's no traffic, there's no people, you don't have to wait longer at restaurants, it's just beautiful. Today has had its ups and downs. Started off, by the way, I might have mince pie crusts, mince pie crumbs around my mouth. Started off this morning dead, and I was I was thinking maybe this challenge is not even gonna work out. Then it just went crazy. Midday to 6 p.m. It was just non-stop. I was loving it. My spirits were high. My legs were feeling great. Hit 6 p.m. and suddenly it was just nothing for like almost an hour. And then it's meant to be the busiest time. Maybe it's because loads of other people go online, so the jobs get spread out more. But anyway, now we're in central London, uh, and it's almost 11 p.m. I haven't made as much money as I wanted to today. This is, it might be the smallest day so far. Depends what happens. Anything, anything can happen in these last few hours. But I might do the, what I call the Uber gauntlet, which is I'll stay signed in until I get home. So, you know, if I get a delivery that goes back away from home, I have to go do it. And we just try and keep getting closer and closer to the home. And if we get home, then we sign off. This challenge, guys, it's, it's happening. I'm keeping it up, I'm keeping the momentum. We can do this. We can do this!
Hey, uh, got delivery for. Uh... See ya. Yeah. Yeah, then, thank you. Go midnight and the Uber's coming back to back. I keep getting an Uber request before I've even dropped off the Uber I'm on. So we're gonna keep this up. It's about making a thousand pounds for the end of the week. So if the deliveries are coming in, you better believe I am gonna do the deliveries. Check the number real quick because it is in the middle of the night. Calling. Look, another Uber. No, 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 no. It was that time of night where everything seems closed, everyone's asleep, and I'm just out there doing mini missions and making money. I was sent south across the river for the first time during the challenge. It was strange because I was thinking when or if I was going to end up in South London. Destiny. A creepy thick mist had formed. This made it feel pretty damn cold and created spooky vibes to complement my tiredness. Then things actually did get scary. Pizza. Thank you so Thank much. You. Have a good night. See ya. So I'm on the way home now. I've signed out. It was getting a bit late. It was getting a bit crazy. The pizzas kind of scared me a little bit. And uh, yeah, it's getting a bit cold. That is some very nice, cool, sparkly frost. That is frost. Yep. I am wearing shorts. <laughs> it's, it's all in the head. If I'm starting to think, maybe I don't have much in the head. Let's get home, I'm hungry. We've done over 100 miles again today. We've made the most money today. And uh... I just picked up my 100th Stuart order for the week. I'm on 100 Stuart orders for the week. I just take them on, I'm on 75 Uber orders for the week. And uh... Yeah, we've basically been going non-stop for the last 10 hours.